hope I'm audible and visible. Can you all give me a quick thumbs up if my audio video is fine? Let me just check if you all can hear me properly. So welcome in this uh, session of Dermatology with me, Dr. Cheshta Agarwal, your NEET PG educator on an academy. Now on an academy, we give you two type of subscription. One is uh, plus and another is iconic. Iconic give you an access to both an academy and prep ladder. Now we have a lot of important uh, notices for all of you. I request everybody to please kindly follow this. Right now, Unacademy is providing a 20% discount. So if you want to take Unacademy, you can use my code JSTA10 and get 20% discount. Now we have a lot of new batches which have started. One is the Focus FMG batch which have started recently. Then we have a NEAT PG batch and we also had a INI CT batch which are starting from 21st of this month. I request all of you to kindly use the code CHESHTA10 and get yourself enrolled because we are providing you 20% discount. The offer is valid only till 22nd of this month so requesting all of you to kindly go ahead. Now let's start with the today's first uh, question. I hope everybody is ready. Can you all give me a quick thumbs up? So let's start with the first question of the today's session. It's a little long question. The question says that we have a 65 year old man who presented with an asymptomatic erythematous swelling on his right ear which has been gradually progressing for 15 years. On examination we had a red brown infiltrated plaques which are palpable. The dorsum of the ear was particularly livid in color and atrophic cicatrical appearance. So let us mark some important points. So that will help you answer the question one is an elderly patient presented with a lesion which is present since a very long duration, chronic lesion. The rest is uh, the lesion has atrophy and another feature is you have PPD which shows in duration of more than 20 mm. So can you tell me what can be the answer, what are the important points? So please remember looking at these points we came to a conclusion that this is a patient with cutaneous TB because the PPD is more than 20 percent it means it's a patient of cutaneous TB and what type of cutaneous TB is this? It is lupus vulgaris. If you look at this image I can show you that image also look at this image you can see that is erythema and can you see here at this plates you have atrophy. So whenever you see a plaque with atrophy in the center activity in the periphery it has to be a patient with lupus vulgaris and how to treat this patient everybody knows that for lupus vulgaris you have to give ATT similar to that of pulmonary tuberculosis you have to give 6 months of ATT, 2 months of intensive and 4 months of the continuation phase. Is that clear? So very easy first question is done. Now moving to the next question. These sessions are short sessions so I request all of you to please be live. These are 15 minute sessions so I want all my students Makata, Sovik, Ashima, Dr. Bonjit, Venkateshan please answer the next question. A 67 year old woman presented with a 15 year history of pain in multiple joints and a symmetrical migratory affection. On, uh, she, did not <clears throat> she did not report lesions of any kind on the skin but on the nails there were leukonychia, crumpling, onycholysis or hyperkeratosis. Upon direct questioning she described a desquamatic lesion in the father and he was bedridden because of some joint issues. So again let's mark the important point. The first important point is involvement of the joint. So it could be some form of arthritis. Now in this patient in addition to joint the nails were involved. There is a positive family history of some joint disease or skin disease and recently the same patient have noticed some scalp lesion. Now can anybody tell me what is the diagnosis? You are all right it is a very classical example of psoriatic arthritis and please remember for psoriatic arthritis we use a criteria which is known as Casper's criteria. Anybody know about this criteria? What is this Casper's criteria? There are few points. Presence of joint involvement first. This joint or this arthritis is zero negative. So RF factor is absent, zero negative. Third, skin lesions of psoriasis. Fourth, positive 
family history fifth involvement of the male so these are the features which fulfills the caspers criteria and in this patient you can see that majority of them are being fulfilled usually in psoriasis vulgaris patient the involvement of male is 5 to 50% but in the patient of psoriatic arthritis the risk of male involvement increases to around 90% and that is why we usually see the involvement of male in the patient with joint disease is that clear so we are done with a lot of question with respect to this question can i get a quick thumbs up from all of you ashima sindar charu uh, makata nkn shovik all of you again requesting if you want me to teach the whole dermatology in detail please download the anacademy learning app use my code cheshta10 and get your subscription we are providing 20% discounts right now next question please answer this question a mother who was 50 year old he had, uh, she had several soft tissue cutaneous nodules on the body including the head and neck there are multiple hyperpigmented macules she did not have any symmetrical or systemic problem in the organ all her offspring had similar lesions in the variable frequency during oral examination we, we saw new formation of soft masses on her back which of the following statement is false anyone so look at the image i hope the image is visible and let me show you the image can you see a large lesion can you see a large lesion it's a very sessile soft type of thing you can see hyperpigmented macule and you can see some small you can see some small growth also is that clear to all of you am i audio am i, am I audible and visible to all of you is the audio uh, video clear any issue with the connection because from my end it is uh, it is absolutely fine try to refresh check your internet connections because it is shown uh, clear at my end sadat shovik kavi priya charu now this is a patient you all are right it is neurofibromatosis type 1 what are the features what is this can you tell me what is this large growth it is plexiform neurofibroma what is this it is cafe au lait macule and what are these these are neurofibromas these are neurofibromas okay so we have three things plexiform neurofibroma cafe au lait macule and we have neurofibromas which of the following statement is false multiple hyperpigmented macules are present since birth yes cafe au lait macule they are present since birth it is an autosomal dominant condition true and slit lamp is done to look for iris leash nodules but what about option number 2 large masses which is seen in this patient that is plexiform neurofibroma is not considered as a diagnostic criteria this is wrong please remember if you have a single plexiform neurofibroma it is considered to be a criteria diagnostic criteria okay so i hope this question is clear the answer is option number 2 next question next question anyone makata charu ashima bonjit everyone now you can see that there is a swelling on the foot lot of sinuses you can see on this swelling and when you look at the last image that is this one you can see some blackish grains with a lot of blood tinging on them if you want i can show this swelling sinuses and black granules with a lot of blood over it what is this very nice so 50 year old woman with painless swelling on the foot which started after a banal penetrating injury on the sole of her left foot 23 years ago the x ray showed multiple osteolytic lesions of the teres patient reports granules discharging through the lesions what is your diagnosis this is a very characteristic feature of eumycetoma why this is not actino because in actino mycetoma the color of the grain is yellow but here the color of the grain is black plus u mycetoma is rapidly growing so patients usually present early but if you look at this it is a 23 year old history so this is a slowly growing lesion 
so please remember it is a patient with u mycetoma so these are some of the important points which you have to keep in your mind so try to look for all these features and the the clinical feature is very common in actino and u they both have swelling they both have uh, uh, sinuses and they both have discharge through their sinuses now this is a this is a very short session of 15 minutes so i want all my students to please answer it very fast it's a short session for more detailed discussions of these type of questions please download the an academy learning app use this code jesta10 and get 20% discount on any of the an academy subscription get 20% discount on an academy subscription a 68 year old male presented to emergency room with progressive bullous erosions skin lesions involving the whole body two week earlier the patient had visited the ambulatory clinic with a painful oral ulcer at that time we have a bilateral and large supraclavicular lymph nodes fine needle aspiration shows metastatic squamous cell carcinoma histopathology shows supra basal acantholysis with bullous cleft formation now for a long question you need to mark or highlight the important points so let's highlight the important point first the patient presents with bullous lesions on the skin there is also lesions in the oral cavity so when they say bullous lesion you have to think about vesicular bullous disorder now when you did a fnac you could see that patient is also a case of cancer biopsy shows that the cleft is supra basal so supra basal acantholysis with oral cavity and skin lesions give you an idea that you are dealing with pemphigus group but which is that variety of pemphigus which is associated with cancer please remember this variety is known as para neoplastic this variety is known as para neoplastic pemphigus is this clear to all my dear students this is known as para neoplastic pemphigus in para neoplastic pemphigus they develop igg type antibodies against desmoglein even they develop antibodies against bp antigen so they have multiple antigens against which plaquen group so they have a varied presentation with very classical erosive oral lesions and cutaneous lesions very very classical of para neoplastic pemphigus so with this we are done with the today's session it was a very short brief session i would highly recommend all the students if you want more of such questions we have a lot new set of questions on the unacademy learning app try downloading it you can use unacademy light subscription i will tell you what are the different offers we provide right now to the students so please look at this currently you can get a 20% discount on any of these subscriptions you just need a code and code is chesta10 those who are already prepared you can take a light subscription under an academy which is just the mcq access and those who want to revise before their need 2023 please get a 6 month subscription today because you can get 20% discount using this code so thank you all of you good day and Uh, good night take care we'll meet again tomorrow same time with another interesting session and we'll make sure that at least 30 minute sessions will be made